Hey folks, Casey Conley here with Two Tankards. Welcome back to our build series on the Queen Bee Pro 1500-1500. The last video on our mechanical build series is going to be the assembly of the Z-axis, so stay tuned. To start the Z-axis build, first we install the linear rails. We perform the same process with installing the T-nuts on the two short rails, then we slide them into the C-channel. Take your time and make sure all the T-nuts are in the right position so it's easier to install into the C-channel. Next we'll install the bearings. Again with these bearings you slide them onto the rails and displace the plastic protector just like we did on the Y rails. Here also whenever you install them make sure the grease zerks are pointing in the opposite directions toward the end of the rail so you can access them later for maintenance. Next we'll install the two end plates on the Z axis. Take your first plate, place it on top, install the bolts and feel free to tighten them down. Repeat this same process for the other side. Next we will install a single nut block on the back of the Z axis plate. This nut block is a little different design as it has a slot cut into it to act as an anti-backlash. You will need to install the small allen bolt and nut on it before you install it on the back of the Z-axis plate. Here I use the same process to embed the lock nuts into the back of the nut block using my thumbs like we did for both the Y and the X gantry assemblies in earlier videos. Once the lock nuts are installed, you can assemble the nut block on the back of the Z-axis plate. Make sure the anti-backlash grub screw and bolt are facing towards the top of the plate. Leave the nut block bolts a little loose for the Acme screw install, which is coming up in a little bit. Next we'll install the Z-axis plate onto the bearings on the linear rails. This is the exact same procedure we used before. Just line up the holes on one bearing, get four bolts into one bearing, then simply slide the other bearings underneath the plate and align the holes and install the bolts. At this point feel free to go ahead and tighten the bolts on your plate to your bearing. The Acme screw install on the Z-axis is a, a little different. There is no thrust bearing or lock collars on the outside of the end plates. Simply insert the end of the Acme screw on one end. Then insert a regular bearing, then a lock collar. Then thread the Acme through the nut block on the gantry. When the Acme gets close to the other side, you then slide on a lock collar, then a standard bearing, and rotate the Acme until one end of the Acme is sticking out about three millimeters on one end. Simply seat the bearing on the short end on the Acme screw side and slightly snug up the lock collar so you can work on the other end which will become the motor end. The Z-axis motor install is the same as the previous motor install video. The only difference here is we do not use a small and large spacer. We will only use the remaining four long spacers in the kit. As before, slide on the motor coupling. Then slide in a bolt on the motor side and slide on a spacer. Thread up the bolt in the end plate but leave it a little loose to allow for the other four bolts. The rest of the process is the same including the order to tighten the grub screws on the motor collar. Once the motor coupling grub screws are tight, now you can move on to the bearings on the Acme screw. Simply seat them in the ends of the end plate and then go ahead and tighten the locking collar grub screw.
The last step for assembly is to tighten and align the linear rails to the C-beam. Go ahead and tighten down the nut block bolts and check to ensure the bearing bolts on the plate are all tight. It's a pain with the motor on, but rotate the motor coupling to run the gantry to one end. As in previous videos for the X and Y axis, tighten down one bolt on each rail. Then tighten the bolts on the other side of the gantry plate and rotate the motor coupling again, working your way up. Once all the bolts are tight, we are ready to move on to the install of the Z axis onto the gantry plate. Now it's time to put the Z axis onto the X gantry. This is a simple four bolt install. Start with one bolt, get it tightened up, and install the other three. This process should be pretty quick and straightforward. Once you're done with this, take a step back and look at your project. All right, folks, that's it for our mechanical build series up to video number nine. You can see the massive size of this Queen Bee Pro 1500 by 1500. Next, we'll be rolling into our electronic assembly video where I'll be using the Open Builds black box controller and we'll be doing the wiring and there'll be several videos on that following this video here. So as always, if you like my content, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.